What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today I was actually planning on doing something a little bit different that wasn't the Just Essentials range. I was planning on going out for my uh, for my breakfast this morning but when I woke up at about 8 o'clock it was absolutely bouncy down so I thought oh no I'm not going out filming in the rain. So it's a bit of a unprepared one here so I've been in the freezer and I found these bad boys so cheese and bean bakes so they're similar to the um sausage but they've got sausage in there i forgot about that i thought that they were going to be like the greg's one sausage bean sausage and bean melt but these are just cheese and bean so they've got no sausage in that's only just come to me right now as i'm started filming four cheese and bean bakes so we're going to give these a go. So it'll just be a bit of a quick one today. Got a big one tomorrow, Sunday dinner. They were actually filmed last week, but it's all been put together and it's a, it's a good one tomorrow. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe, wherever it is down there, down there. And uh, make sure you don't miss out because we're at nearly 1800 now. 1750, I think. 2000 is are just around the corner. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at this box. So there you go, the uh, serving suggestion shows it with chips. I'm just going to just try it on its own. So 400 grams for four, so it's about 100 grams per bake. And that is the traffic light system there, 262 calories. Um, yeah, so 12 grams of fat, 6 grams saturate, 2.8 grams of sugar and a little bit of salt. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Puff pastry encasing a baked bean and cheese filling. So how much cheese and beans are actually in here? Haricot beans, 11%. Uh, mature cheddar cheese, 6%. Tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, 1%. So you've got a few legends there. Milk, barley and wheat. That's the full nutritional information. If you want to pause and take a look at that. 8.2 grams of protein. Cooking instructions, 25 minutes in the oven. So I have had a few comments asking me why I do use the oven when I have got a little air fryer. This is the only air fryer we have, and it is tiny. Oh, nearly knocked you over there. That is the hole. So, although I could cook one in it, because I'm, my daughter's going to have one of these for her dinner today, for me to put two of these in there, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. So that's why I don't really use that as much. It is on my uh, my wish list to get a new air fryer. Oh, these have been set out a little bit. Quite doughy. But that is, that's what they look like. Match are gonna make all four because they are very small. So I'll have two for my dinner. And my daughter can have two for her dinner. Maybe I shouldn't have let them defrost. <laughs> but we'll see. There they are. So we'll get them in the oven for, what did it say, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, 200 degrees. And I'll bring you back when they're done. So they are done. And here they are. All the beans and cheese have exploded out of a couple of them. But we'll get them onto here and I'll give you a closer look and then we'll have a taste. So it is all important taste time and I can see straight away from just looking at these that they are very, they're not as full as the um, the other pasties I did um, a few days back, the minced beef and vegetable one and the cheese and onion one, look at that, it's like a hollow shell compared to it. 
So we'll uh, we'll give it a go anyway. These are 99p for four, so 25p each. The pastry is nice, but the filling, it's nothing special though. Maybe I've been harsh, but I am comparing them with the um, the the, pa the other pasties that I've got from this Just Essentials range, and these, I know they're frozen ones and the other ones were like fresh, but they were proper filled to the brim. This stuff. Burn my help. It's like it's empty. Look at this. I've got to the at the end of the pastry and there's nothing in it. It's like <laughs> this is uh this is not good. So looking at the other one there, I have cut this this one in half here, and that is the filling. Oh my god, there's like three beans in there. That is absolutely dreadful. As in there's no it's all pastry and no filling. That is, a, that is cut in half. That is the full one. And there's literally three three beans in there. And it's just a hollow pastry shell. Looks like a taco, but with nothing in it. Save your money, don't get these. Definitely stick with the uh the, the fresh pasties, the, the minced beef and vegetable, or even the cheese and onion one. At least that was filled up with potatoes. This is like a, a two out of ten. It's not for me. Don't taste bad. Don't get me wrong, but there's just not not enough filling. It's bland. It's missing sausage. To be fair, it should be a sausage, bean, and cheese melt. Cheese and beans. There's just not in it. Not enough in there for me. It's like having a puff pastry toaster, but with hardly any filling. Save your money for me. I'd be getting the fresh pasties all day long. Leaving these ones. Forget about these. Thank you for watching. Catch you tomorrow for the Sunday dinner at four p.m.